Howdy folks, Howie here. Just finished a run of uh, 19 books total. Uh, it's a Daredevil, the current Daredevil run by Chip Zdarsky. Just heard an interview with Chip Zdarsky and his name's not Chip Zdarsky. I thought that was kind of neat. He was working in uh, newspapers and he liked comic books. He got a job doing sex criminals, which I have reviewed the latest uh, thing of sex criminals. That's a great book. He's the artist on that. He's not the writer. Matt Fraction is the... Is it Matt? Yeah, Matt Fraction is the writer. Um, he's the artist, but uh, still. And he didn't... Basically, he couldn't use his newspaper name to write an X-rated comic book. Or not a hard R comic book. So he made up Chip Zdarsky, and that's his comic book name. I don't know what his real name is. But that's his uh, pen name. So I read the whole run from, uh, it's 19 issues, from whatever to now, until they stopped printing comic books. During this whole Rona thing, they've stopped printing comic Well, they're just starting up putting out like two books a week um, and limiting it. They're really hard to find. I know this is, has nothing to do with this, but I know this week DC put out three books. One of their horror books from the uh, Hill House line and two second printings. And no comic book store wanted that I know of wanted to pay for the shipping on those. They're just going to get them when everything really starts going. Apparently on May 20th. The comics start again on May 20th. From what I'm told, it could change. Who knows? But right now, that's the plan. So anyways, this is the first trade, it covers issues one through five, called No Fear. And they call him the man without fear, but this is no, K-N-O-W. No fear, because he's learning fear. Um, I had kind of commented on this book, because I had bought it when I bought the uh, Joker book, written by John Carpenter, and uh, Billy McGravy come in and said, that's terrible, it was okay, it wasn't that great. He's killed before, um, so it wasn't... And and Billy's right on all that stuff. And that the Miller's the best run ever. Can't beat it. He's right. Can't beat the Miller run. He has killed, but I'm not a stickler on continuity, per se. You can tell me the first time Daredevil accidentally kills someone a hundred times. As long as you make the story different... A little interesting, bring some stuff into it. And this has a lot more to do with his senses and his uh, Catholic upbringing than others that I've read. First of all, we're learning his senses. It starts off... The book actually... I, I like the art a lot, first of all, too. Uh, the book starts off with... Uh, he, he, he picks up a barfly. Or a barfly picks up him. And they go right to bed. Now, what you're kind of learning in that is that, uh, well, Matt's a good-looking guy, but he's blind. So he doesn't know what she looks like. And she's happy at the end, <laughs> after they sleep together. And she's like, I don't know if I'll ever call you. Who cares? You know, kind of, we had a fun one-night stand. It was cool. Uh, at the end, he's, and apparently he's really good because of his heightened senses. If you don't know Daredevil, Daredevil was blinded as a child, but it enhanced every other sense he has. So he can't see. He can sense shapes. He's essentially not really blind. He can't see colors. Um, and he can't see anything, but he can sense. He almost has a bat-like radar. Um... He can hear your heartbeat. He can hear your respiratory system. He knows everything. Uh, he knows if you're lying. He knows if you're excited. And he knows if you're enjoying stuff and if you're ready to orgasm, I would assume, from the way this went. So he knows he can read your body. And so she loved it. But the whole idea was, was she was so happy with, with him being blind. You know, first she says, you know, kind of slips and says she likes that he was blind. And he's like, 
I don't want my handicap to be a fetish. That's gross. And she's like, no, 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 no. That's not what I mean. She goes, I'm really pretty. And I get a lot of guys just by my looks. But I had to seduce you with my humor and personality. That makes me really like you. <laughs> and that was kind of cute. You know, if you think one night stands are okay. I do. So. Um. Apparently, you know, Foggy, if you know who Foggy, Foggy Nelson is, friend, he, he wasn't too happy with it. Foggy's not. So, the basic story is everyone thinks Daredevil killed somebody. Um, but as you go through your, the, the first five issues, you're learning that his, he's so perfect. He, can, he knows the body so well, and he's so precise, he would never kill somebody. Well, that's what we're learning. We learned that with the... And that's what the, that's why the one-night stand is important. He knows a body so well. So he can punch a person. And they're talking about people who were brought into the hospital that he he got to, that he, you know, punched him right in the solar plexus. But they missed everything that could have hurt them. He just put them down and out, you know. And he, he knows all the pressure, all that stuff, so... But apparently he hit a guy and the guy fell just right into the corner of a building and it killed him. Uh, but he doesn't believe that he, he doesn't, he won't admit that he killed him. So by the end of the first issue, you have Luke Cage, uh, Iron Fist, and Jessica Jones coming to visit him. Because he's gotten out of control. He's really bad at this point now by issue three, four. I mean, he's beaten the snot out of people. He's fighting cops now. He's he's out of control. And they want to stop him. They said, look, look. He goes, I know, I know. You want to take me in for murder? And I'm like, no, that happens. You didn't kill the guy. He just died. And Daredevil still has not admitted that he did it. And he goes, eh, it's happened to all of us. It's like, yeah, if it happened to Luke Cage, Iron Fist, Jessica Jones, that makes sense. They're pretty hardcore street-level uh, heroes. If you probably don't know who those characters You might know who those characters are if you watch Netflix. They're, and they're hard-hitting. And then all of a sudden, Spider-Man shows up in his apartment. He's friends with Spider-Man. And he's like, Daredevil, you have to stop got to take off the costume for a while. You're out of control. He goes, yeah, it's because I, uh, I might have killed someone, right? He goes, no. No, I mean, I understand the doubt and the confusion the first time I did it. I'm like, Spider-Man? I mean, I know he killed Gwen Stacy by accident. Well, he had no choice. That's a whole story. She was falling from a building. He caught her with his webbing and it snapped her back, but there's no other way to do it. She was, you know, he, anyways. So I don't know if he's ever accidentally killed, but they're acting like this is a thing and they're all kind of like cool with it. It's kind of weird. So that pretty much brought us to the end. He's, he takes off the Daredevil costume. Now we got another uh, six through ten going on this. Learning that Kingpin is the uh, mayor of the city. And we're getting a whole lot into the whole... Uh, the story that they're telling is pretty good. I'm not going to say it's great. It's not Miller. It's not even Kevin Smith. And he's not that great of a comic writer. He's fair. Because um, he wrote some Daredevil. It's not the best, but it's a good Daredevil story. And it's good art. Um. And the things that we're getting, uh, it just gets some neat. You get one cheesy thing, one super cheesy thing. He he goes into a uh, bookstore, used bookstore, to buy Foggy, his best friend, a gift. Turns out, and he has a crush on the owner of the bookstore, who he thinks is the owner. It's a, a girl. Uh, he falls for her, and she's not interested in in him in the least, which is great. And she's like, yeah, I know you're ruggedly handsome, but uh, no, you're not my type. 
And she's, it turns out she's, what you find out later is when they, um, when he gets invited to dinner at her house, you find out that she is married to the mob boss and that the mob is the Libris family, which I thought was so funny and so cheesy. It's like, what is this, an old Batman comic? The Libris family runs a bookstore. I mean, come on, <laughs> that's so funny. So anyway, but he does end up sleeping with the mob and having an affair with the mob boss wife. And that's a whole thing with, I mean, it's, it's more about conflict and different aspects because I did get the whole run. Now we go to the floppies, 11, 12. This was really good. The kingpin with the bloody hands. Kingpin gets upset and kills a guy. Kingpin's the mayor. And watching them having to hide the body and do that stuff, good two issues. Right there. But, yeah, and then Electra comes in. He meets her. Um, so it's the whole run up to now. Nothing like owls fighting them. I mean, it's good stuff. I I like it. I like Daredevil. Uh, he's one of my favorites. I'm not going to call it a revolutionary, groundbreaking comic. I'm going to call it a damn good read. Enjoyable, fun, different. Neat take on his powers. Uh, an art that I just... Blues. I love the art. I'm, I'm a huge fan. So there we go. That's a little Daredevil stuff. Uh, hope you enjoyed. All right. I'll talk to you all sometime later.